Welcome to Live Alive. In today's video we'll start with Liverpool target revealed his future. Borussia Dortmund star Karim Adeyemi has spoken out about rumours linking him with a move away from Germany. Adeyemi has been linked with Premier League sides Liverpool, Chelsea and West Ham, but recent reports from Italy have claimed that the 22-year-old is a top target for Juventus if Federico Chiesa departs this summer, and Adeyemi has now addressed the reports, admitting that there are no guarantees over his future, although he remains very happy. At Dortmund, he told German newspaper Ruhr Nachrichten, I can't say anything about that, I'm wearing a Dortmund shirt and I'm very happy to be wearing a Dortmund shirt. There are no guarantees in life. New Dortmund boss Nuri Sahin was also asked about Adiemi's future and he seems to be keen for the winger to stay. Karim knows what I think about him, Sahin said. I'm not going to start commenting on every rumor. I'm not playing along. What's important to me is what I want from Karim, and what Karim told me is important to me. Everything else is not my concern. Former Dortmund boss Lucien Fove believes Adiemi would be an excellent signing for Juventus. Speaking to Tato Sport, Fove said, Adiemi joined Dortmund two years ago when I was on my way to Nice. He showed his worth in the latest Champions League final when he sprinted past the best right back in activity, Carver Hull, who is among the Ballon d'Or candidates. Fove also delivered his verdict on Kefren Thuram, who joined Juventus earlier this month. Liverpool moving to sign Anthony Gordon Liverpool are reportedly moving to sign Newcastle United ace Anthony Gordon this summer, but the latest updates are not too optimistic for the 19-time English champions. The Reds are said to be exploring the market to purchase a new winger this summer, as Luis Diaz and Mohamed Salah's long-term futures are seemingly uncertain at Anfield at the moment. Nico Williams, Eberechi Ease and Mohamed Kudus have been suggested as serious targets for the Merseyside club, but Gordon has been heavily linked lately. It was recently reported that Liverpool made contact with Newcastle over this deal with the Magpies wanting a fee of around £75 million to let their star man leave. As per the Chronicle, Liverpool have interest in signing the former Everton playmaker. However, speaking to the media outlet, Newcastle CEO, Darren Eales, has said that since the profitability concerns are over, they have now decided not to sell any of their star players and are ready to keep hold of Gordon. He said, in the end, we had to do the deals that were right for the club, PSR wise, that made us compliant. So, from that perspective, we did what we had to do, but we kept what I would say are our core players, the type of players like Isaac, Gordon, Bruno, Joe Linton, those players who are our core. Gordon was selected to play for England in the European Championships following an impressive campaign last term, but he remained on the periphery throughout the tournament, featuring only for four minutes. In regards to this, Eels has said that it was a shame that a dangerous player like him didn't get the game time to prove his worth on the international stage as he showcased that he was one of the most lethal forwards in the Premier League last season, Eels said. From a personal capacity it was a shame that he didn't get more time because, as we saw last season, Anthony can be a very dangerous player. He was one of the main attacking threats in the Premier League last season. Therefore, it is looking unlikely that Liverpool will be able to lure Gordon to Anfield this summer to reinforce their attacking department. Liverpool should hijack Juventus' Matias Sol. Frustration is really starting to grow amongst Liverpool supporters over the lack of transfer business being conducted by the club, whilst rivals such as Manchester United and Chelsea are as active as ever in the market. Whilst Onslaught's work on the training ground looks promising, the overwhelming feeling is that Liverpool are missing out on a number of opportunities to sign players. There's no doubt that this has been enhanced by Manchester United's capture of 18-year-old defender Lanery Euro from Lille for around £45 million. However, there is another opportunistic signing that could be available for the Reds to hijack, but they would have to act quickly to pull it off. That player is Juventus' Matias Sol, who is expected to leave the Serie A giants this summer. Leicester City are reportedly leading the race to sign the 21-year-old in a deal worth just £25 million. Sol is a 21-year-old Argentine right-winger, often deployed as an inverted winger more than capable of cutting in onto his favoured left foot in a similar way to Mohamed Salah. The youngster enjoyed a really impressive season on loan at Frosinone last season, scoring 11 goals and assisting a further three in 36 league appearances for the Italian side. However, with just two years left on his current deal at Juventus and with them struggling financially, he is expected to leave this summer for a cut price. 
That same situation has seen the likes of Federico Chiesa also looking for a new club and also being linked to Liverpool. When discussing potential areas for improvement in Liverpool's current squad, you would be correct to point out the need for a backup and alternative option in the right-wing position, which Sol would definitely offer. Especially with the aging Mohamed Salah, who struggled with injuries at certain points in the 2023-24 season, the need for a potential long-term replacement is growing in need. Liverpool coach ban player from training, Liverpool players will have to be on their best behaviour next season, with John Heitinger set to bring a no-nonsense approach with him to Merseyside. The former Everton defender has been confirmed as the latest addition to Oren Slot's backroom staff. He joins as an assistant coach, following Sip Hulshoff, Ruben Peters, Aaron Briggs and Fabian Ort as the new head coach's team grows, Heitinger arrives having most recently worked on David Moyer's coaching staff at West Ham, following a long association with Ajax. The 40-year-old worked for years with the Amsterdam club's academy, where he helped to bring through some of the club's biggest names in recent years. Including Liverpool midfielder Ryan Gravenberch, Heitinger played a big role in the success enjoyed by Ajax under now Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag, and he did it thanks to taking at times a tough approach with his players, explaining his methods to the Athletic in 2020, Heitinger said, we take risks. It means we can lose games as well. Of course you want to win, but it's important to learn. The individual player is the priority. Sometimes we put them out of their comfort zone. With one player, we told the parents not to say anything, but I'd call late on Monday telling him he needed to be at the airport early the next day for a UEFA Youth League game that Tuesday. We see how he handles it. Last year, one of my best players came too late for the training session before the Youth League game against Lyon. I said ah thank you for coming but you're not coming with us to France. Another once came two minutes too late and he wasn't allowed to train. I gave him another kind of session on Saturday. Every player is allowed to play badly every now and then, but we want to always see intensity and fight. And that's the final content of today's video, like subscribe to support Live Alive.